Cardiff having won the toss off to play from right to left in the first half, as in the broad match, match underway. And a great big pile up of bodies in the uh, centre of the field here. Amazingly, they've all been contracted inside the 265s for just a moment, and then back went Kelly and Buckley to gather and to play this ball away. And that's going to be the first line ball of the match. I wonder will Callan have it all his own way this afternoon? He had eight touches in the last final, scored five points from play. Well caught again, brilliantly done by Marr. Into space here as far as Shane McGraw. We're looking for the opening point of this match. Will this be it? It certainly is. Shane McGraw coming strongly from midfield. Really good score. That's a fantastic score. Great catch there by Brendan Marr, who's been very involved in the game. And Shane McGrath took it on the hurling straight over there. There's Brendan Mahon. No McGrath switch back in there. Here's Porig Welsh. Looks up. Drives it about 70 metres down the field. Down towards John Power's wing. Breaks down for him. On as far as Richie Hogan. Hogan drops it in and puts it over the bar. Great chance taken by Richie Hogan. And that should settle Kilkenny down. Two points to one after eight minutes. Yeah, that's an important score for Kilkenny. Uh, eight minutes gone. And that's... You know, Richie Hogan is on fire this summer. Cuts it up well. Neatly in here to 25 metres from that tip goal. Once again, it's James Barry operating at fullback. Poor ball given away to Richie Hogan, however. And Richie Hogan can punish that poor slack clearance out of defence. And Richie Hogan's got a second point. And the teams are level in this final for the first time. Ten minutes are gone. Yeah, good response by Kilkenny there. Uh... Good, good ball by Richie Hogan over the bar, but uh, tip, that should have been cleared. And uh, Kilkenny have weathered the storm there. There's Darren Leeson nearly caught in possession there by TJ Reid. A very even game so far. Indication of nerves there on the part of the goalkeeper. That's a great catch by Porrick Welch. I was mentioning students, he's at UL. Huge one all the way down here towards TJ Reid. Trying to get it under control. James Barry once again his marker. Cleverly playing it back here as far as Owen Larkin. Cool as you like. Beautiful score by Larkin. That's a bit more like it from Kilkenny. That's what you have expected from them. That maturity in their play. TJ Reid to Larkin. Yeah, very simple there. Nice easy ball by TJ Reid. I know Larkin, we've seen that many times over the years. Just a little sidestep and a, a lovely score. In the 1980s. Here's Killian Buckley. Little block on it by Garrow and Ryan. Comes back as far as John O'Dwyer. And O'Dwyer looking to get his first score and he succeeds in doing so. A player has got two goals and 12 points since the quarter-final, all from play. He's in form and it's four points to three. That's a fantastic score. He just had room to swing his hurl from the sideline. Great block down by Garrod Ryan and uh, really Killian Buckley, you know, moving, he should have really driven out that ball, but a great block down and a super score by John O'Dwyer. And wearing the same number, Shane McGrath now, trying to get the Tipperary forwards going. They need the possession. He's trying for the shot himself from just inside the 65-metre line. The umpires look at it and wave the white flag. Second one for Shane McGrath. Brilliantly done. 6-5. That's an absolutely brilliant score. Look at here. Just rode the tackle there, flicked it over to the uncommon tackle. And just, from in, just inside the half or the 65, that's a brilliant score. That's two fantastic points off the hurl by Shane McGrath. All throughout this year, there's been so little between these two teams when they meet in competition. One point the margin right now. Brendan Maher off his left-hand side. Paul Murphy going back to try and get to it in case Kieran Joyce doesn't. And Lark Corbett takes the invitation. Goal chance. Cameron scores. First goal of the match. Lark made it. Seamus Cameron took it. 28 minutes are gone. It's his 16th championship goal. Yeah, look at Lark Never lost that yard of pace. Brilliant. Picked it up brilliantly. What a hand pass. Very unselfish. Could have finished himself. And a great finish by Seamus Callan, you have to say. Very cool. Just dropped it in nice and low. Tapped it into the corner. Kilkenny now looking for something special before half time. But again, it's Bergen who's sweeping across the half back line. Blocked down this time. Back once again it comes. Michael Fennelly hitting it. And it's gone over the bar. Good score. Another one scored by Michael Fennelly. Well, he made a difference in the drawn match when he switched to midfield, and he's making a difference here just before half-time. One between them. Yeah, he had very little room there. Fantastic lockdown here again by TJ Reid. But Michael Fenley having a very, very strong game in the middle of the field, but Shea McGrath scored two points as well. Uh, so, like, a lot of places, very good battles, very good matchups. We're seeing a different range of skills in 
in evidence here as James Woodlock goes forward, head down, determined, he's got a chance and he's about to be hooked and coming in on him was Conor Fogarty and the referee blows his whistle, not alone Fogarty but Kieran Joyce making sure that James Woodlock wasn't going to get a, a free shot at goal that time. Yeah. Vogel getting right behind these two teams. Podimar again losing it back this time into TJ Reid. Onto it comes Colin Fennelly, and Fennelly in the end knocks it over and puts Kilkenny in front. So it's 11 points to 1 7. Colin Fennelly's first score. Yeah, a huge start in the second half by Kilkenny. They're winning all the 50 50 balls. They're using their physical strength. Lock away into the inside forward. Knocked back out again by Kieran Joyce, who really has settled down after a nervous opening 10 minutes. In as far as Colin Fennelly. Fennelly's the star of the second half so far, and he's got two points. Might have had a goal earlier on, but he'd be happy enough with that. And Tipper and Kilkenny have shot it to a two-point lead. That's a high-quality piece of play. Great catch by Kieran Bergen, first of all, and then lovely block down by Kieran Joyce. Killian Buckley delivered a lovely ball into space. And you know that's Kilkenny in the first half. If it's all big high balls, now they're playing the ball into space more and they're reaping the rewards. It's a great move as well, Michael. I think of Colin Fennelly in on top of James Barry, who was pretty inexperienced at this level. From that puck out. James Woodlock unable to get to it Kieran Joyce puts the head down takes the shoulder slips the little hand pass outside to Richie Power Power takes off past Paddy Stapleton in on the 13 metre line dangerous ball across here and it's James Barry who collects that one did well he'd be very happy with that and he's still ahead by three points they were ahead by four heading into the last four minutes of the draw match and we know what happened then Noel McGrath and Noel McGrath fires it over the bar his second point but more significantly as Tipperary's first score of the second half it's taken 11, point, 11 minutes to produce that they've gone 13 without a score yeah and that's going to help us settle them down now as I say games can flow like that Kilkenny have had a great start in the second half but you'll find Tip will get back into it now they're in there Henry's ready to come on this is what the fans have waited for the 35 year old coming on for his 71st championship match his 15th All-Ireland final game, a player who's got two goals and 50 points in the past against Tip in the Championship. He'll be on in a moment, but first, it's Paul Murphy racing after him as Seamus Calnan. Murphy hooked, out came Cahill Barrett again, great courage and bravery. Breaks as far as Owen Larkin, sweeping it over his left shoulder, dangerously in and up and over the bar. Great score by Larkin. Point in each half for him. Well, that's an incredible score. If you look where he went from, he's playing left corner forward. He's over here on the right-hand side. Look at the spin on that. He t- turned it back outside. A beautiful ball straight over the black spot. And Paul Murphy with a fantastic catch from the puck out before that and sold it up the field. And Cahill Barrett came across him with another brilliant block. Not as much running, but to bring him right into the middle of it to try to win an all huge call. And Cahill Barrett is on him, as happened in the league final down in Thurles. That's a good catch. Richard Parr finishes. Power. Three goals in this All Ireland final series. Two the last day, one here, and it comes in the 59th minute. That's a brilliant goal. Just look at his body position there. Absolutely brilliant in the air, and look when he got the chance. Low on it in the corner, but look at his body position. He held himself in the air, went up early, didn't panic him, and he got the chance. Took one look and put it away. A fantastic goal. And while Kieran Bergen has been outstanding at wing back for Tipperary, Richie Power has looked so dangerous every time he's got on the ball. He created that chance for John earlier, and that's a fantastic goal. And will that be the difference now? Well, we've known for a long time that Richie Power was one of Kilkenny's main attacking weapons, and he's proved it again. Conor Fogarty here now. Hand passed outside. Onto it comes Henry Shefflin. Wanting to make a big contribution in this final. His team ahead by four. Forced out over the far sideline. And that's going to be a line ball to Tipperary. A goal either way can change it big time. Owen Murphy straight down through the centre. Two against one there. It bounces off Richie Power all the way in there. John Power, his brother, and Colin Fennelly. Fennelly stepped onto the end line. Back here as far as Owen Larkin. They're working it in. The goalkeeper again, Darren Gleeson, makes a wonderful intervention. But Michael Fennelly again a second save. And in the end, John Power. Another goal for the Power family. 63 minutes. John Power's first ever championship goal. 2.15 to 112. Oh. Is that the significant moment? Brilliant bit of play there by John Power. And Darren Gleeson did brilliantly well. But Michael Cal caught in possession. And look at this. Bounced up. Another brilliant save. But Power is there to finish it off. And uh, 
I think that could be the significant score now. It's going to be very hard for Tip to come back from that. Yeah, that might well be the circuit breaker in this game. As Patrick Bottomar advances, Cahill inside, they need something, they don't get it because there, Paul Murphy came across, denied Seamus Calden. They need a goal now, not one but two. And denying them once again that very mean, obdurate Kilkenny defence. That's Lester Ryan. Poor ball away, however, straight to Brendan Maher from 45 metres out, over the bar, it's gone. It's one back. 216 to 114. Five points still between them. John O'Dwyer is the uh, player down injured there as we watch that again. Thurless last year since that 2010 final. Big one in John O'Dwyer. Lovely ball as far as Calman. Burke, back it comes. And the final shot. Finished in the net. They're still hurt. Another one. Brilliantly done here. After all that sustained pressure, Shane Burke was involved. But watch in the end as it reached Seamus Calnan. And Calnan got another goal. Two yeah. goals and five points for him. Very smart finish. But look, you need a bit of luck sometimes. That broke from now two oh. points. A dangerous lead. And Tip will be looking for a goal to win this. Referee today. But look at the clock. One minute to go. Advantage Kilkenny, Henry Shefflin, the man poised to win his 10th All-Ireland hurling medal. Down here to Colin Fennelly, didn't take his chance the last time, this time he does! He's got his third, it's Kilkenny surely, but they're ahead by three points, that dangerous margin. Puck out's been taken, Kieran Bergen, only a goal will take it to extra time. On as far as James Woodlock, Woodlock! Having a go, stopped, comes back out once again. Paul Murphy trying to get it away. 30 seconds and under remaining. Back out as far as Brendan Marr. Challenged there by Henry Shefflin. Marr once again tripped. Referee says play on. They do. And it comes as far as Connor Fogarty. 15 seconds to go. James Barry trying to win this race across here. Colin Fennelly has got his third point just a moment ago there just to hold up his progress. The three minutes now just about up. That's Kilkenny 217 to 214. What a second half and credit to both teams. Tipperary never gave up, but is that it? That's it's it. It's all over. over. And Kilkenny have won the All Ireland. Brian Cody jumping for joy there with Mick Dempsey. Why not? It's taken two matches, but they are the champions again after a gap of two years. Champions for the tenth time in the Brian Cody era. The Powers did so well. Richie got a goal, John got a goal, and now they can all celebrate. But yet another defeat for Tipperary. It must be very hard for them to take against their keenest rivals and their close neighbours. Jackie Tyrrell doesn't care about that, nor does JJ Delaney. He's won a ninth winner's medal. Richie Powers got another and the full-time score at a delighted Krug Park where Kilkenny's concerned. It finishes here, Kilkenny 217, Tipperary 214.